Every sugar will give us different things in terms of functionality. Let me explain you quickly. The saccharose is a sugar that will give you body. An example, a marzipan. If we make a marzipan, we, which is usually half-half, the responsible to have a marzipan like a thick and with a body is the saccharose. If we replace in a marzipan the saccharose per inverse sugar, for example, you will make a soup because the, your marzipan will be super soft. So sugar is about body, making, uh, making a structure. Dextrose. Dextrose is a sugar coming from the starch and dextrose has a big capacity to reduce the, the free water in a recipe. Meaning, uh, it is something that I, I tell you later, but basically it's a sugar that it can control the water, meaning that through this sugar we can control the shelf life of the product. So dextrose is a very interesting one for this thing. It's a sugar that avoids crystallizations and it decreases the activity water. Glucose syrup, look at this glucose syrup. This product is transparent, as the name uh, indicates, is a, is a syrup. So inside the glucose syrup we have water. We have around 18% of water. The rest is a combination of different sugars. And basically, glucose syrup is about avoiding crystallization. So every time you have a problem in a product, in a ganache or in something that after some days you notice that, that your product is like grainy, use a little bit of glucose syrup and we, you, you will avoid this problem. And then we have the inverse sugar. Inverse sugar is a sugar which is hygroscopic. So the, the principal functionality of the inverse sugar is the capacity that we have inside the inverse sugar to maintain the products uh, like a humid. It, it avoids that a, a product, a sponge cake, a madeleine, or a bonbon start to dry very quickly. So this is basically the objective of the inverse sugar. And like everything in life, it's all about balance. And about balance meaning that if we use in a recipe one single sugar for some specific things will work. For example, for a caramel, we can use the sugar, the normal sugar. But basically in the 90% of the cases, what is the best is the combination of the different sugars, like in ice cream again, like in other places. So this is why in all the recipes, in the majority of the fillings, you will see like always there's a combination between glucose syrup and inverse sugar, extra that we incorporate in the recipe because together will work very well. And because this one is about avoiding crystallization, this one is about avoiding is about the hygroscopicity, so both work together. And in some other recipes, we include the dextrose. So the combination of these three sugars is always a, a good point. Thinking that inside the chocolates, when we make fillings, we have the saccharose that is already present inside our chocolate, okay? So important message, sugar is about stability. Then, look at. To make chocolates, we need chocolate. 